Hi everyone, it's Dr. Damien. In this video, we're going to look at three applications of emotion in consumer behavior. The first application we're going to explore is emotion as a product benefit. When this strategy is employed, the individual consumes the product to experience an emotion. Take a theme park, for example. There are no utilitarian benefits of visiting a theme park. Our motives are purely hedonic. We visit the park to experience excitement and adrenaline that the roller coasters provide. Another example would be spending the day at the spa or buying cosmetics. While they do provide some functional utility, a primary benefit to the consumer is to feel good. The second application is really the opposite. It's when the benefit of using the product is to re a reduction in emotion. For example, an individual might consume harmful products. They might take drugs or drink alcohol to reduce the negative emotions experienced when grieving for the loss of a loved one. A more adaptive approach would be for the individual to see a therapist to reduce their anxiety. You can see from this Google ad where the benefit promised from using their service is to reduce the negative emotions of anxiety and depression, and hopefully for their individual to get their life back on track. If you've ever engaged in retail therapy, that is, you've shopped to improve your mood, you've also employed this strategy. The final application of emotion in consumer behavior is when they're used in advertising. Generating intense feelings from a 30 second commercial is quite difficult. So you'll find many advertisements that use this approach are longer in format. I'll post a couple on Blackboard, but let's take a look at some of the emotions that this short ad for Washman generates. Okay, it's pretty short. There's not a lot of time to think about it. So let's watch it again, and this time I'll label it with some of the emotions that we discussed from the last video. It's probably unlikely that you felt all of those emotions in such a short time, but you probably felt something. And making you feel something is really the point of emotion in advertising. Why? Well, research suggests that emotional experiences are better recalled than non-emotional ones. So if an advertisement can generate an emotional response within you, then you're more likely to remember it than one that doesn't. Second, emotions will be found to enhance our understanding of the message being communicated. The message in this ad is that Washman is a laundry app and that it will pick up and deliver. As the message was in part conveyed through emotion, it should increase the viewer's comprehension of that message. Finally, positive emotion eliciting ads develop positive attitudes towards the ad. So, if you found the ad to be humorous and you experienced some joy, you will probably like the ad and your liking for the ad should rub off on the brand. And if you develop a positive attitude towards Washman, then this should eventually translate into brand preference and ultimately purchase. <laughs> 